In this video, we're going to be looking at bearings. Now, there's four main rules I'm going to discuss before we start looking at some questions. OK, so here's our first rule. Bearings are, of course, angles. And with bearings, one of the rules, it must be measured clockwise. Here's our second rule. Bearings must also be measured starting from the north line. And usually we have the north line pointing towards the top of the page. However, as unlikely as it is, it might be different. The question will always tell you which way the north line is. As I mentioned, bearings are angles and they must always be three digits. So even if you've got a two digit angle, for example here, 30 degrees, you can't simply write it as 30 degrees. You must write it as 030 as standard. So bearings must always be three digits. Now, if a question says measure the bearing A from B, you must always start at B's north line and measure through until you're facing A. So A from B means from B's north line. And from that north line, you keep turning until you're facing A. OK, so here we've got a question. Calculate A from B. So remember, A from B means it's from B's north line. So you must start at B's north line. So it's this angle here. You start at B's north line, turn until you're facing A. Now it says calculate, so we're not going to use any measurement tools. We're just going to solve the answer. OK, so we can see that there's a 60 degrees here. And the angle we want and the 60 degrees makes a full circle. So we know they add up to 360. So we can simply work out the angle we want by doing 360 minus that. And that gives us 300. So the bearing we're looking for is 300 degrees and it's already three digits. So we're okay with that. Now we need to calculate B from A. So we need to go to A's north line. And we start at A's north line, turn clockwise, of course, until we're facing B. Now, again, we need to calculate this. Now, if you remember your angle rules, in particular, the parallel angle rules, this is a co-interior angle. And in co-interior angles, they always add up to 180. So, so the angle we're looking for and the 60 must add up to 180. So we can simply do 180 minus the 60 to get the angle we want. And that gives us 120. So that's the bearing B from A, 120 degrees. And it's already three digits again. OK, this time we need to measure B from A. So let's start by putting some north lines. OK, we might as well join A and B. Otherwise, we'll be turning forever and won't know when to stop our angle. OK, it says from A's north line. B from A means from A's north line. And we turn until we're facing B. And of course, it's always clockwise. So now we need our measuring tool. We need our protractor and putting on the protractor, we can see it's a nice 60 degrees. Now, you mustn't put 60 degrees as your answer, because remember, bearings must be three digits. So we'll put 060 degrees as the answer. I hope you found that video useful. Support us by liking, subscribing, and share this with your friends. And if you still got some more questions on anything, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where you'll find your questions answered.